Okay, I have an 11 speed free hub and it is right now compatible with 10 speed with this 2.8 millimeter spacer so you could fit a 10 speed cassette and what I want to do is to install this 11 speed mountain bike cassette on the 10 speed free hub. So to do this I'm going to go ahead and leave the 10 speed spacer in right where it's supposed to be and put the cassette on. Now let's see how this is going to fit. It shows that the 11 speed mountain bike should fit on a 10 speed. It does look like the road free hub is 1.85 millimeters longer than the mountain bike one. I'll see if it fits. Let's check it out. Well, I got the 11 speed cassette to fit on a 10 speed free hub, and you can tell that the MM right there, the spacer is still in there. This is the tool I use, the Park FR 5. So you screw the cassette lock ring on to the cassette and free hub. And here's another look at the 11 speed XT cassette on the free hub of a 700C rim. The 2.8 millimeter cassette spacer did not work with this setup, so I swapped it out for a 1.8 millimeter spacer and now it fits. So if you take a look at this right here, the 1.8 millimeter leaves a little bit of space between the lock ring and where the frame and wheel connect. So that little space right here prevents the lock ring from rubbing on the rotating axle part. And that's why you need that extra one millimeter right here. Before it was rubbing with 2.8 millimeter spacer. So I took this, this again, took this 2.8 millimeter spacer out, replaced it with a 1.8. And now this 11 speed cassette works on a 10 speed road free hub body. Again here is one last look the 9000 group set, the 6800 and the 5800 are the 11 speeds and it shows that it's not compatible with this mountain bike 11 speed free hub. The mountain bike free hub will work on a shorter cassette that's 1.85 millimeters difference.